यू नो वट इज़ माई फेवरेट आसना इन द योगासना सीरीज इट्स मयूर आसना बट वेन आई टॉट मयूर आसना आई वॉज टॉट मयूर आसना इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस मयूर आसना वॉज किप्ट एंड आई नेवर नेवर फेल्ट गुड अबाउट इट बिकॉज मयूर आसना यू नो गिव अस सेंस दैट इट इज एन आसना इट इज नॉट ईजी फॉर एवरी वन एवरी वन टू डू बिकॉज इट सिम्स इट लुक्स वेरी टफ and if you are being able to do it means you have really good strength in your arms and you are really very balanced in a way so it shows some facts about you if you are able to do it so that is why i really liked this asana to do because since the beginning of my life i tried to do many asanas and i was able to do the asanas but i never was able to do this a particular asana so i really wanted to do this asana over here in the asana if i practice it then by the time Uh, the sadhana pada ends then i knew that i will be able to do it and recently they taught us mayurasana and let me tell you something usually i thought that how it is like usually when i go to mandukasana from mandukasana to mayurasana i could directly switch just like that so um it is something that is very easy if i do just like that but um with the process if i do it you know <laughs> it doesn't happen i mean i cannot even take a lift of my foot uh when i when they gave us the instruction you know uh, it was so complex so tough that when everybody else started doing it by the end of the instruction nobody was doing it because the instruction was very clear that if you are not being able to do it properly then whichever place you are you are finding yourself uncomfortable or this 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 condition is not satisfying then you should come out of it as soon as possible right away and <laughs> the first day when we tried there are so many people so many people who were uh, trying the same asana and most of them left in the middle in the last few instruction of the hatha yoga teacher who was teaching just went like that i mean nobody was doing just just the instruction was going just as a part of formality so that is how mayurasana became tough for me <laughs> and one thing i liked about this isa hatha yoga teachers is that they are always there to see that whether these things are happening in the right way or not if you do all these things on your own practice on your own then there is huge huge chance of um, doing it wrong right now when i did this asana particularly you know there could be eight to nine mistakes that i i was doing and if you see the picture and if you see my posture over here then it would look similar you will never be able to understand what is the problem or what is the mistake that i am doing but there could be eight to nine mistake that i can figure it out after getting uh, after learning this mayurasana so it is essential if for us to not to practice any kinds of asana on our own unless and until we are getting trained by spe- uh, specialists or getting trained by practical hatha yoga teachers i mean it it could be really um, problematic for us because if you do not do anything in your entire life then nothing will happen to you but if you do things right things but wrongly then it can create significant amount of wrong impact in you that you will be able to suffer your whole life i mean i still remember that initial days i don't have any kinds of back pain body pain and this that no pain i used to have but right now i have a little back pain over here if i do padastasana or if i do uh, what do we say paschima uttanasana i feel i experience a little bit of pain over here so during certain period of uh, this asanas i stopped doing particularly konasana and trikonasana because somewhere the this part of my body used to get stretched and i never used to make myself more and more uh, i never i at least used to i at least wanted to give myself a little bit break my muscle to heal and then i thought that i should practice so i gave myself a little time and now it is healed but i know that if i put lot of pressure uh, into going into the posture and if i do not do it right then again the pressure that was supposed to be there on the hip or on the waist will shift a little up and then it will come to the back and when it come to back it will definitely again give me that same problem so if you are given certain instruction towards yoga asanas it is necessary for us to follow the same instruction as it is as it is if we do anything here and there then pressure will shift or wherever the pressure supposed to come will not come and the pressure will shift to some different position and if, if the pressure shifts to different position it will act in a different way 
so it is not only about raising your energy off that is essential for us to do but at the same time you have to understand that if our body is not going to that posture properly then we should not attempt all these things because if we keep on attempting just to prove ourselves that i am fit i am do i am this and that so we'll end up hurting ourselves in such a way that we will not be able to recover in small amount of time there are so many people in the ashram that i've seen who are doing so much of practice and who who did so much of practice of yoga asanas and now they are having some back pain some neck pain some shoulder pain and that is feels to them very uh, permanent right now because it's been there for around months so it is essential for us to not to push too much into the yoga asanas it is essential for us to do but at the same time it is very much important for us to carefully approach towards this yoga asanas carefully approach towards the postures not we should not we, we are not supposed to, we should not force ourselves we should not be hurry to go into the postures generally if we keep on practicing repetition if we just keep on doing it more and more and more slowly gradually you will be able to go into those postures and you will be able to hold yourself up in that in those postures for longer period of time and that's the best way of approaching it slowly gradually longer period of time it will happen automatically initially we just do not we just we, you know initially wo hota hai na apne andar ki yaar mujhe karna hai aur abhi mujhe karna hai so because of that only it feels like i should supposed to do it right now i am i should do it right now <laughs> and because of that we may end up hurting ourselves so it's it's something that's not happen to you if you are doing yoga asanas if you are trying to do yoga asanas on your own then it is from my side my recommendation would be not to do find a teacher and if they teach you in a certain way then do it as they are teaching and i am not sure whether everybody else who are teaching out there are teaching the best way but if you see somebody who is very much close to any kinds of uh, spiritual institution or uh, any kinds of spiritual organization then they are more likely to be teaching you in the right way Uh, par jo aap dekhte whatever you see as a yoga postures uh, around the internet who push people to go into the postures they are not at all the right way of teaching yoga do not <laughs> go for them uh, even if they are claiming that i am certified yoga teacher nobody can certify nobody can certify you as a yoga teacher because nobody knows what yoga is there is no university who can give you the certification university can give you the certification for physics degree chemistry degree chemistry degree mathematics degree but university can give you cannot give you the certification for yoga because yoga is not yet under competency of uh, an university only some spiritual masters can be able to give it who are really accomplished one not everybody i mean there are a uh, significant amount of still institution exist in the india that you can go for and you can learn hot yoga and as classical or as pure as it is you are learning that's the best other than that do not try these postures they can be really damaging to your system that is one interesting thing and important thing that i was supposed to tell you thank you so much for watching else in the next video bye for now